Hello, and welcome to a Breaking It All Down Let's Play. I'm Count Zero, and we just saw, in the last installment of Remember Me, a creepy, somewhat disappearing leaper. We're we'll probably going to fight him some point in the future. Hmm. Now, I suspect... Oh, by the way, I like the use of light and darkness in here. Um, I do kind of wonder, if you didn't turn these lights on if you go when going through this section, what would happen? Um, but yeah, th this section's... Hey, one just came behind me. So, my suspicion is this section... Um, well, not my suspicion, no, this section's basically meant to, int to introduce a new type of leaper. Uh, this guy is invisible when in darkness, he cannot be attacked when he appears in darkness, and it's eventually effectively invincible, and, uh, but when in light, it can be seen, and you can hit it and do damage to it, and so forth and so on. Ah, uh, this fight. So... I'll do this one, uh, but if one of these upcoming fights with these guys, um, he heads up. My qual my skill kind of decreases. Due to having a basically a cat get on my shoulders. Uh, one of my cats. Um, not enough focus for that. My cats, um, particularly one of, the ki one of my kittens, likes to be a... Alright, let's take these guys down. like to think she's a pirate kitty, and will stand on your shoulders and chew on your hair and that sort of thing. Which means she also digs in her claws. Je viens d'être attaqué par des leafers. Effrayant, ils disparaissent à volonté. Ça fait bien longtemps que je suis plus étonné par tout ce qui peut sortir de ces tunnels moisis. Je me dépêche de te rejoindre. D'ici là, ouvre bien les yeux. So, that makes... That can be pretty distracting for some of these big arena set pieces, so... I'll let you know when I come to that point, and... That'll be a fight which I probably won't finish this episode. Actually, not probably. I, I don't finish that fight this episode, and it ends up being continued into the episode following. Alright, so... Ooh! Yeah, so you can miss jumps and die if you miss a jump. This isn't quite like Uncharted stick to it um, plat platforming. Right. So I can't cling to the bottom of the hologram projector. I'm gonna wait until it triggers before I climb up. And now up to the middle and straight up and over to the side. Alright, there's the leaking brain. Just a leap over, I think. That second one kind of is a little tricky because you are in the way of the arrow that will tell you that you can leap to that point. Yeah. Nillin takes some pretty substantial spills in this game. Hmm. So I'll say that she doesn't really sell that the the fall there very long, but when she first goes down, it looks like she twists her ankle. And that would be op when I saw that, that would be operating under some sort of impairment here. Nope, I can't shoot those guys to save that person. That stinks. Alright, and that... Okay, so that's setting up a puzzle that we'll run into later. Um with rotating those bars to set up a climbing path. Ah! 
Oh, this is the fight. Okay. So here we go. We get attacked by two of these vanishers. I'm not sure what the good native name to call them. Wraiths. In this section. So you have to shoot the floodlight, keep it active, and take these guys out. And this is the first stage. Second stage, we get a new espresso, and that's disabled. And then we also have a bunch of the leapers on the walls. And we'll get into the, the, the significant faults of that section once we come to it. Okay, so, actually, so once you've started the combo while you can see them, it can continue after they've become invisible. Alright, so, they disable that, and here we come to the problem with this section. And the, the problem with this section is this. Alright, we'll trigger this and we'll show the animation. And that is, you have to, you, you have the problem with the big root fights. where you have to manage the um, enemies attacking you at ground level, plus you have to manage the leapers coming off the walls. And also, once you, you also have to manage your cooldown timer. And while you're doing... And you're also having to, to man, pay attention to your combo gauge. This is why the pause is I'm trying to contend with the cat. Um... And the problem is, you're being attacked by enemies who you can't see very well. So this is my first death here. I'm gonna, I'd be dying a lot over the course, in, course of this section. So basically, you're managing too much at once, and in particular, dealing with too many enemies who you can't really effectively defend against. You can't do a Batman-style counterattack against the against the wraiths. You can't do Batman style counterattacks against the leapers up before coming off the wall. The invisible guys keep interrupting your combos. The guy the guys coming off the wall keep interrupting your combos. It's basically a situation that is meant to make life make it difficult for you to build to recharge your super your um espresson meter and to make it difficult for you to get hits off on other bad guys. Alright. Now, trigger this. So, and that combo, you might, the expression, you might remember it from our second episode, no, her third episode. No, it's the second episode. No, third, yeah, third. Um, that's the one which stuns enemies while keeping your super meter going, so... This leads to situations like this, where... The, you've got one left to take out, and you don't have enough health bar to hit him. Um, now what the game does, and I only really noticed it on this time through, particularly since I'm being distracted by a cat on my shoulders, is once you've taken out all of the guys who are hanging off the wall and this we can use for um, doing cooldown combos, it reactivates the spotlight, which is nice, but it's still a royal pain in the butt. Honestly... As far as this fight goes, I, I think what would have made this a lot better to a certain degree would be one having an actual counter button you can use as opposed to using a cool de using a uh, uh, using as opposed to an evade button uh, or at least a defend button that you can use or block button to deal with these enemies coming off the wall and keep them from interrupting your combos. Alright. 
So, let's try this again. You're not going to get it this time. Also, the ability to lock onto enemies would be a real help. Just because being able to lock onto enemies would mean that I'd be able to more easily continue a combo on an enemy whenever they move away, or that's that sort of thing. Either that, or letting me be able to hit um, the wraiths when they briefly become visible before they attack, or start a combo on them, or something. Because like there's a bit there where they start where the, you saw where the wraith started to appear and was right in the middle of my melee attack, and I should be hitting it. I should be punching it right in its face. All right, so he's the last one left, and I don't think I've noticed yet that you can. Uh... There you go. Get him into the floodlight. Alright, the problem is now the floodlight has another cooldown on it, so I have to try and survive. And it's kind of tricky when you're trying, when you're being attacked by enemies who you just can't see. So, here we go again. I will admit that. A fair amount of my difficulties here are related to me being dis to me playing well distracted, and playing well distracted is not a good way to play a combo-based action scene in a game which requires you to manage a whole bunch of stuff at once. I will also say that probably these taunts from the enemies would be more annoying if they were in English, so being able to play this in French is certainly help is certainly helping make this more tolerable. Alright, I'm pretty much dead here, but I can at least get these guys down. Also, the other thing I actually wouldn't mind is if you die, your um... XP gauge carried over or something. Because in a case like this, if you've realized that your combo unlocks are not the ones you need for this fight, like for example, say maybe you haven't don't have enough combos set up for um, with cooldowns, that can barely bite you in the butt. And we're getting to the end of this installment, so next time, hopefully, not hopefully, we will finish up this fight. So, I will see you next time.